for Health and Joy. Today we are doing our self-care yoga, our Sunday self-care yoga. So we're going to begin by sitting on a block if you have one. If you don't have one, you can sit on a pillow or um, a blanket. You can also sit on two blocks if that's more comfortable. So get the block right underneath your sit bones so you're nice and comfortable so your thighs can fall down. Um, you can have your knees straight forward or if that doesn't work for you, please cross your legs. So for this yoga class, as in all yoga classes, listen to your body, breathe and let your body, your breath and your body inform you how far to take in the individual pose. And you're welcome always to pause, um, take a child's pose or take a rest. So modify as, as need be. Okay, sit up nice and tall on your block, draw your shoulders back. Let your shoulder blades fall down your back. And now just lean back a little bit more, an inch more. Please close your eyes. We're going to begin with deep belly breathing, slowly and deeply. So inhale your belly full. Pause, exhale, squeeze your navel to your spine and contract your organs. Inhale your belly full. Pause and contract. Continue doing that for a few rounds. You can count your breath to a count of five or six, or if you're a real experienced breather, you can even take it to seven. Slowly inhaling your belly full. And exhaling your belly back. This deep abdominal breathing that you're doing helps to strengthen your digestion, which helps to strengthen your immune system. And breathing slowly helps calm your nervous system. Do two more rounds. And then instead of guiding your breath, just lovingly observe it. so important to love yourself, to be kind to yourself, and to have compassion for yourself. Compassion for your wonderful capabilities and compassion for your limitations, which we all have both. We're going to add a layer onto that abdominal breathing. I'm going to invite you to put your hands on your belly. I'm going to have you inhale your belly full again. Exhale, squeeze it back again. And then we're going to do a count of breath retention, just contracting your organs, squeezing your belly button to your spine. Three, two, one. 
Okay, so I'm gonna count you through. We'll do it to the count of five a few times. And then if you're expert breathers, you can take it to six or seven. So let me count through for you. Exhale fully. And inhale your belly full. One, two, three, four, five. Pause. Exhale, squeeze your navel to your spine. Two, three, four, five. Hold your breath. Two, three, four, five. Fresh breath in as you extend your belly. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, contract your belly back. Two, three, four, five. Keep squeezing your organs as you hold your breath. Two, three, four, five. Continue like that a few more times in your own counting. At the end of a cycle, return to your native natural breath. You can let your hands fall to your thighs. Anytime you need to refresh yourself or recenter yourself, this is a great practice. Just Sit or even stand and do some slow, deep abdominal breathing. Gently open your eyes, open your arms, stretch your palms up and out. Draw your shoulders back, lift your heart up, lift your sternum up. With your palms up, it's a gesture receiving. I like to think receiving all good, being receptive and open to all good in your life, in our lives. Inhale, lengthen up through your arms, up through the top of your head. And hook your thumbs together and breathe and stretch even more through each little vertebrae. Exhale your arms down. Clasp your hands behind your back. Draw your shoulders back again. Take your belly button to your spine. And you can even lift your arms up and back if that feels good. Maybe you can even take the heels of your hands together. And remember the advanced variation is you can smile while you're doing any pose. Exhale, release. Or you can scowl. <laughs> Yogi's choice. Open your arms again. Shoulders back, palms up. Open your chest, draw your shoulders back. Stretch out through your fingers. Inhale, stretch tall. Hook your thumbs the other way now and stretch even taller. From your sit bones down, wherever you're sitting on your block or your mat, Inhale, lengthen up through each little vertebrae. Stretch up through the back of your spine. Stretch up through the front of your spine. Exhale your arms down. And then clasp your hands behind your back, your, the other way, your non-dominant way. Pull your shoulders back again. Lift your heart up. And then heels your hands together if that's accessible. Open your chest. Uh, it's just amazing how good this feels, right? Exhale, release. I don't know about you, but do you ever catch yourself rounding your back and you say, wow, what a, that's amazing. Like I'm doing my dishes and I realize my upper back's round, my shoulders are rounded. I have to re-draw it back. I'm making my bed. 
geez, thank goodness for yoga. <laughs> okay, take your blocks aside, one block or two block. Come to your hands and knees. Spread your fingers really wide here. And start arching your lower back. I'm sorry, rounding your lower back. Round it up. Round your middle back up. And round your upper back. And then tuck your chin in. Now start arching your lower back. Then arch your middle back. Then your thoracic spine. And now turn your cervical spine up. Look up. And then start rounding on your exhale again. Round from your lower back, then your middle back, then your upper, then top, your head all the way in. And start on your inhale, start to arch your lower back, middle, upper, and then head comes up. Go ahead, do two more times like this, nice and slow, articulating as much as you can through your spine. Nice and easy. Feeling, enjoying, giving your back a nice massage. And then pause when you come through the middle. And lift your knees up, lift your hips up for downward facing dog. Take a peek at your hands. Make sure your fingers are spread really wide. And bring your ears in between your upper arms. Press your hands down into the mat, like as if you're trying to push the front of the mat away from you. And lift your hips up and back. And slowly bend one leg a little. Stretch that straight leg heel closer to the earth than the other. Now go back to your first leg, big calf, heel stretch, back of the leg, hip stretch, and back to your first leg. And set your knees down. Take your knees a little bit more apart, wider than your hips. Touch your big toes together and pack your hips back as far as they will comfortably go part way or maybe they go all the way. Inhale, lengthen your spine. On your exhale, tack your hips way back. Inhale, back up to your hands and knees. Tuck your toes and down dog again. Lift your hips up and back. See if you can get the weight up back into your legs by taking your hips up, pressing your thighs back. Take your right leg straight up to the sky. Three-legged dog. Exhale, round your back and take your knee up towards your nose. Maybe touch your nose. Inhale, stretch it long. Exhale, round again. Lift your knee up, round your back. Touch your nose with your knee and inhale in. One more time. Exhale. Round. Take your navel to your spine. Knee towards your nose. Stretch your spine long. Right leg long. And set your right knee down. Inhale your left leg up. Get the weight back into your right leg. Exhale round. Knee to your nose. Inhale lengthen. Exhale round. Take your navel to your spine. Inhale, exit. Exhale round one more time. And then lengthen your spine, lengthen out through your left leg. And set that foot down. Set your knees down. Balasana, child's pose again. Child's pose, or if your hips don't go all the way back, you can take a puppy dog pose. Take a few breaths here. On your exhale, let your heart sink down to your mat. Now 
and stretch your arms really long on your mat. Come up to your knees and tuck your toes. Lift yourself back up for a down dog. Now bend your knees, look between your hands and walk your feet up to the top of your mat. Let your head hang here and then scoop your arms up overhead, clasp your hands overhead like we did before and bend your knees a little, take your sit bones apart. On your inhale, let your head hang. On your exhale, shrug your shoulders high to the sky. Exhale, let your arms come down, and then swing them right back up again. Hold your hands the other way, and stretch your arms and shoulders high to the sky as you let your head sink to the earth. Knees are bent. And then exhale your hands down. Press through your legs. Inhale yourself all the way up to standing. And then bring your hands together. Slide them down in front of your heart. Release your hands. Inhale, stretch high again. Exhale, fold, bend your knees. Place your fingertips down on the outsides of your toe tips. Step your left foot back. Rest your left knee down. And you can always roll up your mat, like just like I did. You just take the side of your mat, roll it over to rest your knee down there. And then come on up with your hands on your thighs. And lean forward. So we're going to give our hips lots of love today. Yeah. So this is a nice stretch for your left hip flexor. Yes. The hip flexor. That's the one that contracts when we're walking, contracts when we're bicycling, when we're doing most activities in our lives, especially when we're sitting down. It's contracted. So this is a nice, juicy stretch. Set your hands back down, either side of your right foot. Unroll your mat. Step your left foot back up. And step your right foot back to your mat. And again, you can roll up your knee if you'd like to. Press your legs, inhale yourself up. Put your hands right by your hip crease. Push your skin into the muscle and the muscles into the bones. And then lean forward as much as feels right. And breathe. This should feel really good. And then lean back a little bit. Place your hands down. Toe tips in line with your left toe tips. And then straighten your back leg and rock it right up to meet the front. Step your left foot back again. Left knee down again. You can roll up your mat, and then wherever your knee is, see if you can drag it forward so you move to the muscles of the knee rather than the bones of the knee. Come on up. Hands right back here by your hip crease, and then lean forward. So you don't want to go like this. You want to take the side of your waist back, side of your throat back. Lean in. Lean forward with your hips. Hug your hips together. Root through your legs as you stretch straight up to the top of your head. Excellent. And we're going to change sides again. Hands down. Rock the back foot up to meet the front. And right foot back, right knee down. Drag your right knee forward so you get on the muscles. Rather than the moan, hands by your hip crease, push your hands down into your thigh and then lean forward so you get a nice hip flexor stretch right here.
and then back off. Place your hands down, straighten your back leg and step it up. And bring your hands to your hips, draw your shoulder blades on your back, press your legs, inhale, come on up. Now, we're gonna do a fun pose. So you can do this pose with your legs straight, or you can cross your legs. See if you can find stability with your legs crossed. Hug your hips together. We're gonna to take a forward fold. Squeeze your thighs together, squeeze your hips together. Exhale at your, hinge at your hips, lengthen your spine long. Here you can have a block right in front of your feet for, to share the load. You can put your finger, your hands on the block, high, medium, or low. Or you can put your hands on the earth. Squeeze your legs together. And breathe slowly and deeply for this nice big hip hamstring stretch. And then firm your belly. Push your legs down, hands to your hips, inhale yourself up. Uncross that leg. And then see if you can find stability with your legs crossed or you can do it with your legs straight. Squeeze yourself together. And then hinge at your hips. And you can take your torso parallel and then keep going if it's appropriate for you. Fingertips down on the block or on the mat. Nice, slow, deep breathing. Yeah, when you breathe slowly and deeply, the poses can go deeper too, the stretch, the benefit. With stronger legs and a firmer belly, Hands on your hips, inhale yourself up. Excellent. We'll go back again to the first side. Second time's always better. Okay. Squeeze your hips together, squeeze your inner thighs together. Stretch up through your spine. Yeah, before you start hinging, lengthen. Draw your shoulders back as you hinge at your hips. See if you can keep your shoulders lifting up as your head comes to the earth. Now you put your fingertips down. Let your head hang. And breathe. Hands to your hips. Shoulder blades on your back. Press to your legs. Inhale yourself up. And one more good juicy side. Cross your left leg over. Always take time to organize and stabilize. Shoulders back, hinge at your hips, lengthen. And then keep on going. Put your fingertips down on the block or the earth. Don't want your arms just hanging in space there. Hands to your hips, shoulder blades on your back, press your legs, inhale yourself all the way up. And unwrap yourself. Now with your block, bring your block up to the top of your mat. Bring yourself up to the top of your mat. Put the block on the right side, please. Inhale, stretch tall. Bend your knees, stick your hips back, exhale, fold. Hands down the outside of your feet. Step your right foot to the back of your mat. Rest your right knee down. Again, you're welcome to roll up your mat and drag your right knee forward. And then stretch your torso long out at a diagonal in between your legs. If you don't have a block, that's okay. You can just keep stretching yourself long up on your hands. Or if you have a block, Find a place where you can rest your forearms down on your block 
where it's comfortable. So you don't want to overextend it. Let's kind of have it as a little floor lifter. Melt your heart down towards the block, down towards the earth, and then move your hips all around. Circulation, getting the blood flow to anything that's issue in our body, any place where there's discomfort or pain, getting the blood and the circulation there is, I think, almost always the best way to help it heal. You can definitely bring your loving awareness there, your breath there. And slowly walk yourself up. Set your block on the other side of your mat. And straighten your back leg. Step it up. Step your left foot back. Set your left knee down. And then drag it forward. Lengthen your torso out at a diagonal in between your legs. Again, you can stay up on your fingertips here like this. Let's move your hips all around or rest your forearms down on your block. So when we're walking, for those of you who've heard me say this many times, thank you for bearing with me. <laughs> but we have to remind ourselves that we just use, we have habitual patterns of using our hips. So when we do these hip openers in the yoga class, oh, it makes just you feel so good all over. And come on up. Take your block over to the right side. Straighten your back leg, step it up. And then right foot back again. Right knee down. And then See if you can pick up your right knee and place it back, maybe a, just a half of an inch or an inch further, and then press your knee in, drag it forward. So you here again, it's a nice hip flexor stretch. Yeah. And now we're going to do the same thing. Walk your torso out of diagonal. You have the option to heel toe your left foot out and then roll to the outer edge of your left foot. Optional. Stretch your spine long on your fingertips, on your block, or you could rest your forearms down on the floor. And then just move your hips side to side, front to back, whatever feels good. Yoga is supposed to feel good as we create mobility, resilience, flexibility, health and joy and walk yourself back up face the front of your mat bring your foot back towards the center of your mat and chain sides left foot back left knee down drag it forward stretch your spine long out in between your legs and then you could heel to your right foot out if you'd like. You can roll to the outer edge of your right foot. This takes the stretch into a slightly different area. And then come on up. Bring your foot back. And now straighten your left leg, walk your left foot up to meet. And then press your legs in, hold yourself all the way up. Bring your palms together, slide them down in front of your heart. Exhale, release your arms. Inhale, stretch high with your torso, with your arms. And then hinge at your hips and fold again. Hands down. Step your right foot back. Step your left foot back. Down dog. Take your feet over to the edges of your mat. And 
again, press your inner thighs up and back, press your outer hips up and back. So it's a big wide stance in your back legs. Now shift your weight side to side. Hips are up and back. And the side, you're shifting your weight to, that thigh comes up and the heel comes closer. The thigh goes up and back as the heel comes closer. Rest your knees down on your mat and roll over to your backs. Roll over. Lay down. Set to Banda bridge pose. Have your knees bent right underneath your, uh, have your feet as close to your underneath your knees as feasible. Anchor your shoulders down. And you can bring your hands up like in all that jazz to begin with. Shoulders down, elbows down, feet down, hips up. Press your feet down more, lift your hips up more. And then you can stay here like this with your arms, your upper arms pressing down, or you can pick up one shoulder and then roll it under. Pick up the other shoulder, roll it under, clasp your hands behind you. And now lift your heart up. Check and make sure your toes are pressing down as well as your heels. And then press your feet down, lift your hips up higher. And unclasp your hands, exhale, rest your hips back down on your mat. Let's do it again. Anchor your shoulders down, lift your heart up. Press through your feet and bottoms up. And again, you can pick up one shoulder, roll it under, and roll, pick up the other, roll them closer together to help your heart lift. And now your hips are up. Notice how by pressing down through your feet, you can lift your hips up higher. You can stay right here like this, or if you're feeling like you wanna come up on one set of toes, then the other set of toes, and then you can push your hips up even higher. You can lock your feet back closer to your shoulders and get a big stretch here, the whole front of your body as your hips go high to the sky. Keep breathing. And if you're up on your tippy toes, walk your feet out. Unclasp your hands and lower your hips down. And just for good measure here, we're going to give your back traction. So put your hands right by your hip crease. And then push your thighs away from you. Take your lower back to your mat. Yeah, stretch. Give your back traction. And now these. Now please get your block and put it in between your shins if you have a block. If you don't have a block, pretend like you have a block there. You want to keep your shins parallel. Interlace your hands behind your head and uh, lift your head up. Let your head rest in your hands. Exhale your right chest up to your left thigh. Inhale down. Exhale your left chest all the way up to your right thigh. Inhale down. And keep going. Exhaling up. Inhale down. Exhale, lift as high as you can. Inhale down. And you, as you're exhaling up, your navel's coming towards your spine. Some extra core work here to strengthen your digestion and immune system and our internal organs. This is all related to the health of our back as well. Keep going a few more times. Exhaling up and inhale down. 
No hurry. Go nice and slow. Self care is our best health care. Oh, we want to have a strong digestion, a strong immune system. One more time. In a way, exhale up, inhale down. Exhale to the other side. And then take the block out, set your head down, set your feet down, set the block down. And stretch your legs out long, stretch your arms out overhead, point your feet, and flex. Point and flex. And bring your arms down along your side. Please place the block in between your shins again. This time, anchor your shoulders down, your arms down, like a cactus pose. And bring your legs in the L shape as much as possible. And now exhale your knees over to the left, almost to the earth. And then inhale them up. Exhale your knees the other way. You might feel a chiropractic adjustment. I just had one. There's no extra charge for those. Inhale up. Exhale the other way. Your right hip's going away from your right shoulder. Inhale your knees up. Exhale them to the right. And your left hip goes away from your left shoulder. Inhale up. And keep going a few more times. Your shoulders are anchoring down. I know. We like our core work. Always add some core into our yoga. You know, Pilates is much newer than yoga. One of my friends said, oh my gosh, she said, Pilates, that's so new. It's all taken from yoga. And I hadn't really thought about that, but I think that's true. Exhale down, inhale up. You can go two more times to each side. And then take the block out and set your feet down. Now, if you have two blocks, well, we're going to do Supta Baddha Konasana. So here's what, place the soles of your feet together and press your feet together and your knees come open. Now, here's what two blocks is quite nice for. Set the blocks right underneath your knees and your thighs so that you're getting a nice stretch hip stretch but your knees aren't just suspended in space right so that's why these blocks are really beneficial so set the blocks right where you're getting a nice stretch for your hips and your inner your inner thighs outer hips it's more of a passive stretch here and take your arms out overhead. Take your arms at a V shape. And reach, reach, reach. Your hips are turning out. Your shoulders are turning out. Reach with your arms overhead. You can even press your feet together more and take your knees more open down towards the earth or down into your block. Blocks. Now bring your arms to your belly, your hands to your belly, arms down on your side. And do some deep belly breathing that we began with. Inhale your belly full. Exhale it back. So do that a few more times so your breath is even to the count of five or six.
the end of the cycle, return to your natural breath. And reach your arms down to the outsides of your legs. Use your hands on the outside of your knees to bring your legs up and set your blocks aside. Lift up your knees, hold on your shins and make big sacrum circles. Make big circles over in one direction. You can take these all the way, your circles all the way to your outer hip. And now go the other direction. Sometimes you go so far you feel like, oh, I might fall over. If you do, it's okay. You don't have very far to go. Happy baby. So bring your shins in closer. Take your feet, the, palm, the soles of your feet towards the ceiling. Take your arms on the inside of your legs. See if you can get a hold of the outside of your feet. Yeah. And then press your hands and your feet, your feet and your hands. And just roll around like this. We're not a grumpy baby. <laughs> We're a happy baby, hopefully. We're doing our self-care Sunday yoga practice. Uh, only we should do self-care Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday too. Roll around. Give your back a massage, your hips a massage. And now hold on to your shins, squeeze them in, lift your head up, squeeze your shins all the way in. And set your feet back down. Okay. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. So we're going to do a pose, Suki Andrasana. There's many levels to this, so you choose what feels good to you. This is the first level, just tacking your right knee away from your torso with your right foot really active, your toes are spread. And now the next stage is pick up your left foot. And then hold on to the top of your left shin. We're going to do something different here. And squeeze your hips all the way in. You can get a hold of your left shin. Squeeze yourself together. You can even lift up your head if you want. A nice big hip stretch. Squeezing your shins, your knees, your legs towards your torso. You should feel something here. And now release your shin out. Slide your hands to the belly of your hamstring, the middle of your hamstring. Now tack your right knee away. Tack your left knee away, left thigh. Stretch your left foot straight up to the sky. So your thigh, your left thigh and your right knee is coming away from your torso. And then slowly low, bend your left leg, set it down. We'll do the other side. Cross your left ankle over your right knee. You can just tack your left knee away from you and feel that nice hip opener. Next stage is pick up your right foot. Hold on to your right shin with both hands. Your left hand goes in between your legs. And then squeeze it all in. Maybe it's easier to hold on to your shin if you lift your chest up and head up. Squeeze it in. You should feel all those big muscles there. A nice big stretch. Big stretch for big muscles. Now slide your hands to the belly of your hamstring and tack your right thigh away. Tack your left thigh away. Stretch your right foot up to the ceiling. Enjoy your breath, enjoy the stretch.
and then bend your right leg, set your foot down, and set your left foot down. Cross your right thigh over your left thigh. Scoot your hips a little to the right, just a few inches. Let your knees drape open to the left. Stretch your right shoulder out at a diagonal and look out over your right arm. Place your left hand on your right leg somewhere, on your right thigh, on your knee or your hip. And encourage your right hip to go away from your right shoulder. You can squeeze your inner thighs together and see what you feel. And it'll feel even better for you. And bring your right arm back down. Inhale your knees up. Unwrap your right thigh and cross your left thigh over your left, left thigh over your right. Scoot your hips just a little to the left and drape your knees open to the right. Stretch your left shoulder out. Left arm out of the diagonal like you're reaching for something up over the left there. And right hand on your left thigh. You can put it on your knee to tack your knee down a little bit, or maybe it feels better if you put it on your hip, tack your hip away. So the pose is none of the no pose is stagnant. Our bodies are never stagnant. There's always expansion and contraction of all of our organs of ourselves. So similarly, our poses are not stagnant. Breathing, moving a little this way, a little that way, just to make it feel extra, extra, extra good. And then bring your left arm down. Inhale your knees up. Unwrap your legs. So that's a nice supine hip stretch. You can remember that one. I'm going to give you an option for another one. Take your left leg long. Pick up your right foot. Now roll your right hip over your left hip. And you can set your right knee down. You can set your right knee down on a block or the floor. So that if you got it on the block, press it down into the block. And stretch your right arm out like an airplane. Look out over your right arm. For a nice hip stretch, breathe into it. Nice spinal rotation, decompressing your spine. And then inhale your right leg up. Stretch it long. Bend your left leg. Pick it up. And roll your left hip over your right hip. Set your left knee down on the floor or on the block. And stretch your left arm out like an airplane. Look out over your left arm. I do this pose, I would say, every night in bed. It's when I just decompress things. I'll, sometimes I'll just feel tight. I'll say, oh, there's something tight. And then I do this, and then I can fall asleep. I feel a little crack. Inhale your left knee up. Chiropractic adjustment happening. I don't go to a chiropractor, thank goodness. I, I feel like the yoga takes care of it. <laughs> Let's do it again. Left leg long, pick up your right foot, roll that right hip all the way over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Set it down on the block of the floor and then stretch your right arm out. Look out over your right shoulder and breathe. Inhale your knee up. 
and right leg long. Bring up your left leg, roll your left hip over. And stretch your left arm out. You can have your palm up, you can have your palm down. See which one feels better this morning, today. Inhale that knee up and stretch both legs long. Stretch your arms out overhead. Stretch, stretch, stretch in both directions. And then bring your arms along your side. Lift your head up. Tuck your chin in. Lift your arms up. And scoot your hips back. Get your sit bones out. Root your thighs down, lengthen your spine. You can stay right here like this, lengthening your spine and tacking your thighs down. Or if you'd like, you can hinge it out at your hips. I'm using my fingertips to help me stretch my spine long out over my legs. And then at some point, you can move your hands to the front, if you'd like, to your legs, ankles, or feet. Wherever you are, it's inhaling to lengthen your spine, exhaling, tack your hips down. This is not a, oh, I have to touch my toes pose. This is a getting space in your spine as you root your thighs. Hachimottanasana, this is a more inward looking pose. More of a calming pose. To start winding down this yoga practice. And walk your hands back up your legs if you chose that. And then scoot your hips forward and please lay on down. Let your legs fall open. And use your, anchor your arms down to lift your chest up and then set your shoulders down. So we're going to settle in for Shavasana. One to get your heart lift a little bit. Bring your arms out at about 30 degrees with your palms up. Feel the four corners of your body resting sinking into the earth. Please close your eyes and rest your awareness in the flow of your breath. Relax your jaw, relax your forehead. With each exhale, let your body and your mind more deeply relax.
return to your breath. Take a couple more longer, deeper breaths. Bend one leg, set your foot down. Bend the other, set that foot down. Roll to your right side. Pause with your head resting in your forehead. And use your arms to lift you up to seated with your legs being really heavy. And then slowly drag your legs back into place. in honor of yourself making time to create resilience, mobility, flexibility, health, and joy. Bring your hands in front of your heart. Take a big inhale. Slow exhale. And from the love in my heart to the love in your heart, namaste.